how good Camilla was. Well, Easter 1 0. They open the scoring. That was just way too open. Too much space and time given. Annabelle Hosking, good touch, first touch, and just went through the center in between Miller Best and Danny Petreska. Yeah, so, Easton, they've uh, managed to, to find an, an open path. And that's the second one for Easton. Back to back goals. Josh, move over. We're not going to talk about Melbourne IQ yet. Easton 1 0. <laughs> They scored two goals. Look at that one. That's pin perfect. What a header. A wonderful goal from 1-0. Oh, it's a, oh, no. Slipped through. And, and what a turnaround. <laughs> In just a matter of a minute, it's 3-0. And that was also from Katsabas in the near post. Danny Petreska did try to check. Uh, I think Melbourne University have a, have a team. And then Heidelberg as well. And Carlton, actually. That's going to be interesting. And how can people find out to be part of Division 2? Nevertheless, Colton have finally found their opening goal. Again, just too much time and space given. It was just um, to forward pressure. Did just enough and the counter-attack is on. And Colton were able to capitalise on the, the defence there. I mean, so could they um, capitalise on those kind of defensive errors from Carlton. And that's another defensive error. They're on the scoreboard again. Annabelle Hosking gets her second. They missed the opportunity earlier from the header. But this one, without a doubt, low ball. To the left or to the left of the keeper. Danny Petreska again to go it on a loan with Miller Best in the wall on her own. Oh. oh, and it's gone through. Could be an own goal there. That was unfortunate for Carlton. Bianca Racinos did stop the ball, but it veered its way in the goals. Just there, hitting her left leg. As they've called a timeout, Carlton, this evening. But Carlton, as mentioned before, they haven't scored much in this season. Probably... One of the lowest goal scoring we've seen from them. Only scoring eight goals in nine rounds. Says 1-0. Finds it back of the net again. By Danielle Galina. In the back post tapping. Doesn't get any more textbook than that. Let's watch the replay here. Hosking. I mean. Nissan. Josh. Just way too much space. No defending happening there. And that's what happens. But Returning players, Ali Smart, Emily Scholes. Then they've brought on Fatima Ali, who have played futsal here in Thomastown. Oh! An unfortunate error again from Carlton's back line, and they've conceded another goal. That was forward pressure once again from 1-0 FC. Third goal resulting. The first one was great, and then the follow-up Bet Cattawell, I think she even touched it. On its way in. Less than two minutes ago, and after the timeout, 1 0. Scored their eighth goal in the game. It's a one way train to victory here for 1 0. That was so quick, straight off a corner kick. Carlton think they were setting up, but Diana Gatsabas passed it along, and that was just a tap in there from Annabelle. Hosking in round 10 and Carlton will close up round 10 facing Western United at 10 p.m. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> what was that? Shatopoulos. Uh, there she it had is. It. Is that the consolation goal? Bet Cattawell on the scoreboard for Carlton Hart. The first error came good, and the second, Beck Cattawa was still lurking inside the D, and that was good pressure coming from Beck, and just go at it, just use it, her physicality. Hart 2, back on the drawing board for Carlton, but 1-0, building their confidence in this season. Congratulations once again. And let's see, we hope to bring you a player of the match interview after this.
this. Otherwise, stick around the next game. Northern Phoenix up against Western United. Thank <laughs> you.